Hello students, as we are going to discuss the basics of Android. So it is lecture one and here in this lecture, we are going to focus on introduction to Android OS. Our focus in upcoming lectures would be on each and every aspect of learning that how Android OS works, each and every informational point about it and important content that you must know about mobile application development. So here it is lecture one, the basic lecture in which we are just going to focus on introduction to Android OS. So let's start. Android is a mobile operating system as you all know that based on modified version of Linux kernel and other open source software. I hope you know the definition of open source software. Open source softwares are the softwares whose source code is freely to use. If you want to contribute it, it you can contribute. You can also modify the code and you can change the definitions in it and you can basically improve it. And it's freely to use. That is why we are saying that it is open source software, which is designed primarily for touch screen mobile devices, such as smartphones and tablets. Android is developed by consortium of developers, which is known as Open Handset Alliance. So it is an informational point of view. You can ask that who developed the Android. So you can simply say that consortium of developers and a specific name given to them is Open Handset Alliance and commercially sponsored by Google. It was unveiled in November 2007 with first commercial Android device the HTC Dream. HTC Dream was the first commercial device in which it was launched in September 2008. Again, important point, right? The next one is it is free and open source software. Its source code is known as Android Open Source Project, AOP, AOSP. So again, informational point, someone may ask, what is the name of source code of Android? Android Open Source Project, AOSP. What is the abbreviation of AOSP, Android Open Source Project, right? Informational point, which is primarily licensed under Apache, right? Over 70% of Android smartphone run on Google's ecosystem, the Android name and logo are trademark of Google, which imposes a standard to the restrict of use of Android branding by uncertified devices outside their ecosystem. So basically, Basically, 70% of all Android market ecosystem is having by Google and its logo and its name is also trademark of Google, right? So basic information. Now, the source code has been used to develop variants of Androids on range of other electronics, such as game consoles, digital cameras, portable media players, PCs, each with a specialized user interface. Some well-known derivatives include Android TV for televisions and Wear OS for wearables, both developed by Google. So apart from the Android apps, some variants are also developed on Android uh, with the help of its source code like gaming consoles, digital cameras, and like portable media players, personal computers, like for example, Android TV. I hope you all have used it uh, somewhere in your uh, uh, live that uh, you have uh, give command to the TV with the help of your uh, mobile phones or you have just uh, orally have uh, 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 run your PC, your uh, smart TV with the help of Android, Android applications, right? So this is the thing and all are basically developed by Google. Software packages on Android which uses APK format. So basically whatever software packages on Android are, are there, each and every app is having the extension .apk, it's APK format, are generally distributed through proprietary application stores like Google Play Store, Amazon App Store from Windows 11 onwards, Samsung Galaxy Store, Huawei App Gallery, Cafe Bazaar and Getjar or open source platforms like Aptoid or AppDroid. So these are some of the uh, some of the distributed proprietary applications from which you can download this APK format apps. Android has been the best selling operating system worldwide on smartphones since 2011 and on tablets since 2013. 
as of may 2021 it has over 3 billion monthly active users a huge amount of number it is the largest installed base of any operating system and as of january 2021 the google play store featured over 3 million apps 1 million equals to 10 lakh 3 million it means that 30 lakh apps are installed featured on the google play store it's very huge android 12 released on october 4 2021 is the latest version of the right uh, of the current operating system of the android so in this lecture we have just discussed about introduction to android os who developed it what is the source code concept of it and uh, basically some informational point of view in next lecture we are going to discuss about history of android os and one by one we are going to proceed with that i hope you guys like this kind of informations and will be happy to get such kind of lectures in future as well so guys do subscribe if you are having any kind of doubt comment it and we are trying to solve it as early as possible thank you so much have a very nice day jai hind jai bharat